Now, why has St. Benedict's rule become so the predominant rule for monastic life in the Western world? I'd say two things about that. One is just the quality of the rule. Maybe we see actually the Holy Spirit at work behind this rule, making something that he wants to draw men to, men and women both, to um, as a structure for seeking him, effectively seeking him. So by God's will, I would say, it has spread. But also uh, from the human side, uh, it is a practical success. And in the early Middle Ages, the Dark Ages, uh, Charlemagne, as the emperor of the West, was trying to unite his empire and unite the different peoples in it. And he found it to his advantage to bring unity to different areas of the church, including the monastic life. So he promoted the rule of Benedict and it became more widespread at that time. And as it took root in all the countries of Europe, it, it simply succeeded and it has carried on ever since. The gospel, the scripture, is the supreme rule under which we live. Uh, the gospel takes precedence over even the rule of St. Benedict. That's not to say that they're contrary. The holy rule is really a synthesis of values that are found within scripture. Uh, it's a synthesis of the gospels. It's kind of the gospels put into practical Christian living. Um, originally, St. Benedict wrote his rule, and you could say monasticism came about because it was no longer illegal to be a Christian in the fourth century. And so Christians seeking out to live an, an authentic interpretation of the gospel sought the solitude of the desert and, and what they called the spiritual combat of the desert, where one went out to battle vices, to battle Satan and the demons. Um, and that's how the, that's really the root of monastic life. And the rule became a way for Cenobites, that is monks in living it together, uh, the rule became a, a way for them to live in the bonds of charity and to seek God together. And so the rule is really a synthesis of practical living of the gospel in community. It is a rule that is characterized by, by moderation. That is another thing that, that um, ensures its, its, its viability. Uh, it is not something so strict that people can't live by. The rule of Benedict can be inspiring uh, for not only for us as monks, but for anyone. Any Christian in the world can also be inspired by that, that love for Christ and that, uh, that preference for Christ, St. Benedict says, that pre preference for uh, the work of God, uh, the preference for love as the, the primary rule to live by. Uh, all of those things make the, the rule of Benedict uh, an ongoing, viable way of life because it embraces many. It doesn't embra embrace just heroes. It embraces the ordinary people that we are and draws us into, the, uh, into a life that is based on the love of God.